Hello everyone I will show you today the Buddhist temple I visited in Richmond, Canada Vancouver area and mainly we'll talk about Buddhist temples in general will share some facts about them maybe you will learn something interesting I would like to start with some quick facts about Buddhism Buddhists go to temple not at a special time or day, but when they can. It is common for Buddhists to go on a full moon day. In a temple, you will find a shrine room with a large Buddha and statues of his disciples. You will also find relics and manuscripts. There is also a lecture room, meditation room, and a library. Shoes are removed before entering a temple for respect of Buddha. Buddha is known as a teacher, not a god. Candles and incense sticks are lit and Buddhists recite verses in the Vihara, which is temple. Flowers and food are placed on the front of the Buddhist statue. The flowers are to remind the person that they will not live forever. The food is given to the monks since they own nothing of their own and Buddhists feel that giving food will help them reach nirvana. The following principles are said to help Buddhists to act well. First would be not to hurt living things. Second would be to not take advantage of what is not there. The third, to use senses correctly. The fourth, to speak kindly. The fifth, do not take or use drugs or alcohol. Usually, there are three kinds of Buddhist temples. Stupas, which is bell-shaped structures that contain a holy relic or scripture. Then temples, a place of worship somewhat similar to a church, which I am showing you in this video. And the third, monasteries, which contain living quarters and meditation cells for monks. Um, the word for the temple itself, in many languages, is the same as cave. Many early Buddhist temples were like artificial caves that attempted to recreate the atmosphere of Buddhist 
caves in northern India. Because ancient wood temples were often destroyed by fire, temples today are usually made of brick and stone with brass and iron ornaments. Many Buddhist temples are located in the forests and mountains. There are two reasons for their remote locations. First, mountains and forests have always been associated with spiritual purity. And second, Buddhist monks were often persecuted and remote locations gave them safety. In China, though, Japan and Thailand, temples are often in the middle of town. So, a temple is a place of worship as opposed to a shrine, which is a sacred place for praying. It generally contains an image of Buddha and has a place where Buddhists practice devotional activities. Temples attract large crowds during festivals or if they are famous, but otherwise they are fairly quiet. They are often sought as places for quiet meditation, with most acts of worship and devotion being done in front of an altar at home. Temples can be several stories high, and often have steeply sloped roofs and often supported by elaborately decorated and colorfully painted eaves and brackets. Many temples are tourist attractions and outing destinations for local people. Often souvenir amulets and other offerings are sold in little shops or booths. The names of large contributors are placed in special boxes and priests are available to perform special rites. Buddhist temples usually contain numerous Buddha statues. The central Buddha images are often surrounded by burning incense sticks and offerings of fruit and flowers. Some contain the ashes or bone reliquaries of popular holy men. Many Buddhist temples face south and sometimes to the east but never to the north and west, which are regarded as unlucky directions according to Chinese Feng Shui. Also, many temples are entered through 
the left door and exited through the right. Usually, Buddhist temples contain large bells which are run during the new year to mark other occasions and cemeteries. Many temples are filled with small shops selling religious items. And now a few words regarding Buddhist temple gates. They have usually outer gates and inner gates protected by statues or paintings of beasts, fierce gods, or warriors that ward off evil spirits. The gateways are composed of wood, stone, bronze, and even concrete. The beasts include Chinese lions and Korean dogs. Fierce guardian gods and warriors on the outer gate sometimes have lighting bolts coming out of their nostrils and serrated swords in their hands. Their duty is to keep demons and evil spirits out of the temple area. The inner gate to the temple complex complex is often guarded by four guardian kings representing the four cardinal directions. The king in the north holds a pagoda representing earth, heaven and cosmic axis. The king in the east holds a sword with the power to evoke a black wind that produces tens of thousands of spares and golden serpents. The king in the west possesses loot, and the king in the south holds a dragon and a wishful feeling jewel. Well, that was some facts on Buddhist temples. I hope you enjoyed this video. This little tour and some facts on the temples. It was a pleasure to share this with you. Thank you.